Hey everyone, my name is uh, Sudhir uh, Miramanda. I'm a program manager in the Office Platform team. Uh, here to talk about some exciting new developments from an Office uh, platforms and Office add-in standpoint. Uh, we're going to talk about the web runtime for uh, for Office add-ins moving forward. Uh, we're going to be introducing the Edge WebView 2, which is the Chromium-based WebView runtime uh, for Office add-ins. So uh, before we jump in, just a quick history of where we were before. So you'll see that we have three different uh, browser runtimes uh, that sort of form the execution context for your Office add-ins today. Uh, we still have um, Internet Explorer uh, available and running for Office add-ins on, on Office Win32. You'll see that that is still the default browser control on Windows 7, 8, and 10 until Windows 10 version 19.02. Uh, again, we do see a, a number of activations uh, from, from our customers using uh, this sort of a, a configuration. Uh, of course, we introduced the um, the Edge HTML um, or the uh, sort of the legacy Edge runtime uh, last year, some, somewhere around this time last year. Uh, that is the default browser control for Office 365 version uh, 16.0.11629. And of course, there's a specific Windows version as well that you require uh, to be running the uh, the Edge uh, HTML runtime. That is Windows 10 version 19.03. And of course, the, the new one that, that we're looking at right now, uh, this will be shipped, uh, the, the new Edge Web View 2 will be shipped across all versions of Windows and will be the default control for Office add-ins uh, where available. Uh, so really, uh, we are moving into the into this realm of having Edge Web View 2 available across all Windows platforms. Um, you'll see some of the, the core benefits of Web View 2 being um, it is uh, based on Chromium. It is based on the latest Microsoft Edge. Uh, so that's uh, Chromium as you already know is an open source source software. It is going to be consistently supported across all Windows versions. Uh, so starting that the browser itself is going to be available across uh, Windows 7 through Windows 10. Uh, there are certain configurations that you'll need to be in in terms of having available for, for Office. Again, we'll talk about that in just a bit. Uh, again, available for uh, uh, Win32 and UWP apps. Of course, UWP is something that we're not going to be focusing on um, over here. Uh, the classic uh, Windows or the Win32 Office is, is where uh, the Edge Web View 2 runtime is going to be available. And last but not the least, uh, this browser control, this web runtime is always going to be up to date. And that's a that's a critical factor for us from a web development slash Office add-in standpoint. Uh, we want to make sure that the runtime is consistent and, and is always up to date um, as we move ahead uh, in terms of any browser updates or JavaScript engine updates and so on and so forth. So um, uh, really, here's a quick uh, call to action. But before I show this slide uh, or walk through the slide, let's do a quick demo. Um, I've got a Word document over here. I'm just going to launch a very simple add-in. I'm going to launch Wikipedia. You'll see that um, I've already I have the latest version of Office over here, and um, I, I have the WebView 2 uh, runtime installed on on my machine. And if I right click and inspect uh, this uh, inspect, this debugger is, was, is not something that was available in the old Internet Explorer runtime or the H, um, HTML runtime. And this is available now. And you will also see that Edge Web View 2 is the, is the engine, is the, is the exe that's running in my, in my task manager over here. Uh, so just a, again, a quick view of what this is going to look like once you install uh, the Web View 2 uh, runtime. Um, as well as the, the supported version of um, Office 365, if you will, that is integrated with the, um, the Edge Web U2 runtime. So just going back to my uh, PowerPoint over here, just uh, finishing up over here. Um, again, this is only available in the um, Insiders channels um, as of now. So if you're not an Office Insider, that's, uh, that's a link right there for you to go in and join uh, the Office Insiders uh, program. Uh, you need to get the latest version of Office 365. That's uh, that version right there. Or later um, is the one that's going to be supporting Edge Web View 2. You need to get the Web View 2 runtime installer uh, and install it on your machine. Uh, this is sort of uh, the, this is the thing that makes that exe uh, available on your machine for Office to pick up and use Web View 2 as the runtime. Uh, and then launch your add-in and, and test away, uh, validate your add-in, uh, give us feedback. Uh, super critical that we hear back from you. Um, and, and give us feedback on GitHub. I've got the link over there for you. Um, and uh, we're looking to get this to uh, production as quickly as possible. But before that, we, uh, we need your uh, feedback and we need your comments on how this is going. Thank you.